everybody, welcome back to Debo Plays Entwined, and I accidentally pressed play, pressed unpause before I um, started recording, but we are still right at the beginning of, what is this, the fifth lifetime? Um, God, oh, hey, look at this, I was just talking last episode that there wasn't enough of the green ones. Looks like um, our bird and our fish have finally realized that they love each other. But they still are going through their trials and tribulations, so even though they're starting to get closer, they're, uh, they're still not completely together. Oh, I love it. I love how they turn green, and it's just so... Ooh, wow. Look at that. A lot of little blue orbs. Oh, they're getting closer. Oh, I love you, fish. I love you too, birdie. Uh, I, why haven't I named them yet? Um, because I'm so busy talking about this... this the theory I have about the game that I've been too busy to have fun with. Oh god, there was a lot of dots there and I missed them all because we're talking about naming the fish and birdie. Um, let's see, I like I like Frederick the fish and Bernice the birdie. I, I can dig that, you know. Uh, so yeah, so we got Frederick the fish and Bernice the birdie here, you know, going through their trials and tribulations, you know. Yeah, let's make a little story about this, you know. I, I feel like they met, they met on accident, you know, um, as a fish and a bird would meet on accident, other than the fact that the fish might be eaten by the bird. You know what, let's go with that. The, the bird, Bernice was at a river, you know, she was going to get a meal and everything and she meets Frederick and you know Frederick is like let's say Frederick saved her there we go you know what Bernice uh, was gonna eat Frederick but Bernice started to drown as a bird well I don't know would a bird drowned let's just say something happened yeah uh, Bernice hurt her wing and she started to drown right ooh yikes yeah, so she started to drown, and Frederick saved Bernice, um, and just begged her not to eat him. And so Bernice spared Frederick's life. Now, Bernice... Sorry, guys, now I'm actually messing up. The story is getting so complex that I can't concentrate on anything but the story. So, so Bernice came to a point where she wanted to see Frederick. You know, she remembered how Frederick saved her life. So she goes back to the pond um, and she's like, oh, I remember you. You're the fish that saved my life. Frederick's like, you're not here to, I thought you were going to spare me. Are you, are you, are you going to hurt me? Are you going to eat me? Bernice is like, no, no, I just, I wanted to see what you were doing. And that's how Bernice, oh, God damn it. And that's how Bernice and Frederick became friends. Son of a bitch. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that's how Bernice and Frederick became friends. And, you know, they started talking, you know. And then this is, this is the part where they're going through their trials and tribulations. And they're talking to each other about all the shit in their lives. And, you know what, I like that. When they don't make it through... It's, it's either them, it's them hurting, you know, and, but they're still there for each other. Through the, through the pain and suffering, they're still there. And it's like, don't worry, Bernice, don't worry, Frederick. I, I care about you. I, I, I'm, I'm there if you need, need me to be. And I feel like when they start attaching, and then I fuck up, and yeah, that happens. That's an argument between each other. And they just, well, I don't want to see you anymore. And... That sucks. Oh, God. Now I'm just... You know, it's partially the story, like, <laughs> messing me up. But at the same time, this is kind of, like, awkward. How it, like, how they're moving. Oop! There we go. But, no matter what... Oh, God. Through each lifetime, they always... Oh no, I failed at life! Come on guys, I just want you to be together. Love each other. Oh God, bless America. For all my non-American subscribers, I apologize. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, 
Oh, I don't apologize for Ameri being American. Um, to each their own, right? You know, I honestly, I don't feel like there's enough love in the world. Um, and that's kind of why I started this channel, you know. Um, I can't remember now if I've talked about it, but um, I have a couple uh, YouTubers in particular uh, that I've watched um, when I was depressed because I didn't feel like I, anybody loved me. I didn't feel like I had anyone to be around. So, you know, that's kind of what this channel's about is just, you know, everyone loving each other. I, I, I don't like the thought of like, discriminating against everyone anyone like i love i fucking love everyone you know i don't care if you're black white gay straight asian um german i don't care whoa this one's intense looking i don't care who you are i don't care what you do i don't care what you've done you're a person wow this is intense you're a person and you know what i love you for being you because that's who you are you know i mean don't be someone you think people will love. Don't be what you think people will like. Like, I, I don't know. Um, I, I had somebody not too long ago tell me I steal things from Markiplier, and it's not that I steal things from Markiplier. Um, I just, I, I don't know. Like, yeah, the the bye-bye, the I guess, was kind of Markiplier-esque. So I kind of I'm start I'm slowly stopping doing that, but you know what I mean. Um, what was I getting at? Being yourself, yeah. I'm not trying to be the next Markiplier. Um, I just understand like he's one of my biggest inspirations, and I think that's kind of what is it? Um, uh, oh god, I can't remember what it's called. Um, something about the the biggest form of flattery or shit like that. I don't know the quote off the top of my head. I apologize. But I, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. There we go. I, I, I do things like bye bye, you know, because Markiplier is a big, a big inspiration to me. You know, um, I honestly, as dark as this sounds, I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for Markiplier. There's so many nights where I would just, I would cry at night and just feel so alone because I didn't have anyone to talk to. I just felt like nobody cared um and my friend she showed me markiplier and i started watching him um at nighttime before bed i sometimes fuck sometimes i'd even fall asleep just listening to him um crying and i'd fall asleep just you know watching it and in a weird way um oh god oh god oh god Sorry. In a weird way, um, he brought me peace. He was able to make me smile where I felt like nobody cared about me. And I truly felt like he cared. And I, I understand why he does what he does. And that's why... Ooh, oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. Um, that's, that's my biggest reason for... Fuck. I am doing horrible... Um, that's my biggest reason for starting a YouTube channel was because I care about you guys. I, I honestly do. I, I don't want you to think that, like, I'm just saying that. Um, I've had many friends, you know, kill themselves. Um, I've seen people die, and I don't want to lose anybody else. I... I, even if this is just something you would put on uh, when you're, I don't care, doing your homework, fucking um, anything. Just background noise, even. Because things like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, stuff like that, um, I will just, I would turn them on and I would like write in my book. I would write in my like little diary. Um, I'd play like uh, Nintendo, I'd play some uh, Pokemon. Shit like that, you know? Um, it's not that, like, I, it's not that I wasn't interested in their videos. Not not that at all. It's just, I felt, I didn't feel alone when they were around. You know what I mean? And that's, oh, God, that was a little weird. It was wonky as hell. Um, but I didn't feel as alone. And that's why I was like, you know, 
I want to make people smile too. Um, I actually, I was working in retail. I unfortunately had to uh, leave my job. Well, I don't want to say it unfortunately because I didn't like where I was working, but I had to leave my job because I moved. Um, but the reason why I liked customer service so much was because I liked, I liked leaving people smiling. You know what I mean? Um, every time I was at work, um, people would be like, I remember you because you made me smile. You, you felt like you cared. And it was like, well, it's not that I felt like I cared. I did care. I do care. You know, um, if you have a problem, talk to me, you know, everyone needs love. Nobody deserves to feel alone. You know what I mean? And it's like, please talk to me whenever you want. Um, and that goes for you guys as well. I'd love to talk to all of my followers, honestly. Um, I don't hear from enough people and you know, but I do know people watch these and to the people that are watching, you know, I love you. I, I truly do. Even if I never get to meet you, even if, you know, all it is is me saying I love you. I just need you to know that I care. And that is, that's, that's very sincere. It's, it's not like I'm just saying that because it's like, oh, that's sweet. He cares about us. No, it's not about being sweet. It's about, I, I get it. Um, I understand what depression feels like. Please get through. Yes. Um, I understand what depression feels like. I understand what it feels like to be alone. And nobody deserves that sucks i i'm actually myself a manic depressant um and i have to deal with that kind of shit on a daily basis in fact and you know here we go i'll, I'll get very deep with you um just before i started this playthrough because i'm actually trying to finish all this in one day i'm still at my mom's house um but right before i started doing this today i had a big old cry um i felt really alone and I don't feel better per se, but the cry did help. I just, you know, I'm sure everyone knows what it feels like to just feel alone. And I know I'm not alone. I know that, but it doesn't always feel that way. You know, I don't know. It's, it's really hard to describe, um, depression. Um, I'm sorry. Let me, let me just kind of like think about the right thing to say. Um, imagine, you know, you're happy, right? Things are going good for you. You know, you have nothing to complain about. Um, but for some reason, you just don't feel good. You know, um, for some reason, even though everything's working out, your heart just starts to hurt. Like, like say if you lost somebody, right? Um, yeah, your heart just starts hurting and you don't feel okay. And it's like, then you just kind of sit there depressed. It's like, you're sad, but it's like, why am I sad? You know, I have people that love me. I have people that care about me, but for some reason I still hurt. Why? And you can't explain it. So I'm sorry, I kind of just started rambling but it's because it means so much to me. Um, and I've, I've had those dark thoughts before, um, those places I don't want to really discuss in deep detail, especially, well, at least right, not right now, maybe once we get to know each other a little better. Um, but I've had those dark, I've been to those dark places and it sucks, it really does. And, I don't want anyone to feel like that. I really don't. Because I love you guys. I, I truly do. Even if I never get to meet you guys, you matter to me. And your life matters. And no matter what, you're important to me. And I've, I've let this run over so long just because, you know, I wanted you guys to understand this. But, you know, I'm going to have to cut the recording because I'm literally about to run out of time. But we'll keep talking in the next episode, guys. Thanks you mo so much for watching. Go ahead and like this, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!